Hello everyone and thank you for watching the video. Today we're going to be trying out the rigid 3 quarter inch close quarters tubing cutter. We've got uh, some 3 quarter inch copper pipe in our basement. Uh, this is leaking water so I want to cut out a section of it. So uh, we're going to get up on the ladder and try the uh, tube cutter out for the first time. And I've made a couple of rotations. Got the water turned off to the house but there's still plenty of water in here I'm sure. Yeah I've made a couple of rotations so I'm not going to take it out but uh and I'll show you the, the look of it after we cut this, but um, all I'm doing is just going, you know, in a circular motion here um, to stay in line with where we're cutting. There's the cutter right there. As I go a couple of rotations, um, as it goes into the, cuts into the pipe, it will, uh, it will be easier to turn and at that point I'm tightening it up right here that way it will stay in track so far it's been pretty easy to use good for tight areas. This is not necessarily a real tight area, but I couldn't use a uh, pipe cutter that's got a long wrench on, on this pipe where it's located at. So I think uh, for like about 15 bucks, I think it's like 13 or 4, I don't know, I can't remember quite exactly, but under 15 bucks. Uh, All right, we're going to let that leak out. Oh, that's... All right, let's finish the job. All right, so that has given us a really square cut. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot of deburring will have to be done, if any at all, really. Yeah, that's really nice. So uh, let's look at this closer. So yeah, it worked out very well. It's pretty heavy. Seems like a solid solid tool. Um, also can be used for hard and soft copper, aluminum, brass, plastic tubing. Alright, I guess that'll be it for the uh, rigid copper tube cutting, or tube cutter anyway. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.